Okay, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh So today we will present about uh, public speaking So uh, my name is Muhammad Zikri bin Mahathir And my member is Muhammad Hafiz bin Muhammad Hashim Wan Nur Atirah binti Wan Abdullah So first, what is public speaking? Uh, public speaking is a presentation that's given live before an audience. So, uh, public speak uh, can cover a wide variety of different topics. Second, the goal of the speech may be to educate, entertain or influence the listener. So, often visual ads in the form of an electronic slideshow are used to supplement the speech. This may it more interesting to the listener so the third is a, a public speaking presentation is different from an online presentation the online presentation is available anytime a public speech is typically limited to a specific time or place online presentation often use a slideshow or they use pre-record videos of a speaker Okay, next is uh, do's and dance of public speaking. So, first is do's. So, first, know your audience. So, you must understand why your topic is important to them and what they expect to learn from the presentation. So, you must find out the level of knowledge the audience has on the topic. Second is uh, planning your speech. So, it is uh, important to spend more time thinking about the structure of the entire talk. The more you prepare, the more work you put in, the more likely you are to succeed. Third is tell story. Stories are mass impactful. Use them to illustrate your points. So, people will re remember your story. Four is start and finish on time. Will, uh, when you're speaking over your allowed time is very disrespectful and will annoy at least some people in your audience so you must display and respect to other people time lastly is be yourself just be honest open and you are the best at the being yourself so let your so let your true self show Okay, next is don'ts. First is don't read your slide. The audience will quickly become bored and you give the impression that you don't know what you are talking about. Second is avoid overuse of animation. Don't try to animate every element in your deck. Stick to simple effects and transition. Remember less is more good. Uh, third is don't hurry. When you talk quickly, it is more likely that people in your audience will miss that what you say and so become lost. And four is don't use too many fonts. Keep it simple by using only one of two fonts per deck. The information will be easier to read. Okay, next is uh, four types of public speaking. First is speaking to inform. When you give a speech before an audience to impact information on a particular topic or issue, it is said to be an informative speech. Business presentation, seminars in college, class presentations in schools are some examples of informative speech. So, uh, the person uh, preparing for an informative speech has to research the subject or topic very well. It should be short and precise because long informative speech can easily bore your audience. Next is uh, speaking to pursuit. Persuasive speech are those where you try to change the way your audience views an idea or product or person and so on. This speech aim to influence and change their opinion to either favor or disfavor the subject matter. If you want to influence other people's view and ideas, the most important point to keep it in mind here is that you have to show your 
enthusiasm while speaking. Third is speaking to actuate. Speaking to actuate is a higher level of persuasive speaking. Here, the speaker goes a step beyond persuasion and convincing. The aim is to motivate people enough to take a specific step to act. This is a powerful level. Okay, next is about attention getter. Appropriateness or relevance to audience. First is you must selecting an attention getting device. Make sure that the option you choose is actually appropriate and relevant to your specific audience. Different audience will have different background and knowledge. So the purpose uh, of attention getter is to grab the reader's attention, give him or her some context for the essay. As you know by now, a good introduction will capture an audience's attention, while a bad introduction can turn an audience against a speaker. Okay, lastly is about the reference to subjects. First is to consider is to tell your audience the subject of your speech. This device is probably the most direct but it may also be the least interesting of the possible attention getters. So for example, we are surrounded by statis statistical information in today's world. So understanding statistics is becoming paramount to citizenship in the 21st century. So last, uh, this sentence adds explicitly tells an audience that the speech they are about to hear is about the importance of understanding statistics. While this is not the most interesting. Hello, my name is Muhammad Hafiz bin Muhammad Hashim. I am from RSR 243-3C. So today I'm going to continue the explanation on our topic. Alright, so the first slide for me is the attention getter, credential, creating credibility and preview. Alright, based on this, they have four points. That is, express your specific purpose. Okay, what is the meaning by express your specific purpose? That is uh, clear as possible about our meaning. So, why our why we taking our speech? The audience need to understand what are we gonna what are we gonna say on the stage, and then the topic that will be present must be clear, so the audience can understand each point that we will say. Alright, the next point is provide a way to organize your main points. That means a statement, a thesis statement. Uh, help audience to get ready about the topic that will be presented. So, the audience that gonna hear the speech will be ready when we gonna present our topics. Based on that, uh, the audience will be more understanding because they already prepare themselves to understand what are we going to present. Right, the third point is make your research more effective. Okay, by this point, that means uh, we spending much how we spending a lot of hour and time to reading uh, many as we can about the literature about our topic. So we con we will do like research 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 about data, webs and everything so we can present uh, will be present smoothly so everyone can understand and we will be ready alright the last one enhance your delivery so by this last point is meaning talk with express to the audience so they can be more understanding so like about we are talk about serious topic so our expression must be serious and not like happy happily happy full no not like that we must be serious on what are we gonna be to present okay so we move to the next slides okay the next slide is what is informative speech all right 
This type of speech uses description, demonstration, vivid detail and definition to explain a subject or a person or a place to the audience so they can understand. So that means there are four types of informative speech. Right. An informative speech makes a complex topic easy to understand or offer a different point of view. So based on this point, we can know that the informative speech have many, have many type of point of view. So like we can we can know about everything from every different type. Okay, the last point is unlike persuasive speech speech. An informative speech release less on factors and more on communicating communication. Alright, uh, the informative speech is very different, very, very different than the persuasive speech because informative speech is relies on the data and about the true, true things. And we more to gain knowledge than than to persuade to other things all right so we move to the third slide type of informative speech all right an informative speech is one of the informs the audience there are many ways to inform the audience therefore there are several type of informative speech that like I'm talking about just now that is there are four definition speech demonstration speech explanatory speech and descriptive speech all right for the definition speech is the explain a concept or a theory regarding the topic about its main goal to educate the audience so the definitions Definition speech is more likely to educate the audience so they can gain knowledge. All right, the number two is the demonstrate demonstration speech. All right, it is described to perform an action or explanation on how to do some things. So basically, uh, for example, is use a visual example that show on how to do something from a step to another step all right then the third one is explanatory speech that means usually uh given at industry conference given the audience a visual representation or particular data or statistic so explanatory speech is more likely an uh, speech that uh given at the industry company so like they gonna show their charts about their performance about their selling about their goods and about their bags bag all right the fourth one is the descriptive speech the descriptive speech is a vivid picture in a, a person mind regarding the regarding an object okay this Speech is used to descriptive to inform an interest to the audience. So basically, this descriptive speech more likely to 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 ask the audience to thinking about something on their minds. Like for example, is the scientists have found a new fossil of dinosaur. And then the scientists want to the audience to brain about the fossil and what type of structure on the fossil, something like that. All right, that's for this slide. And then we go move to the next slide. Okay, what is the purpose of presenting informative speech using data and chart? Okay, for the first point is to provide the information of your speech in a easily digestible form so the audience can understand the meaning of the form easily right for the second one is to assist or visual material to understand complicated topic so by the visual material the audience can 
understand the complicated topic more easily and they can refer to the to the data that are visual and hear what we are going to say and then the next one is visualization have the ability to be uniquely captivating so by visu visualization the audience can visualize and you uh, and captivity into their minds so they can understand about it okay and the last one is attractive visual can get the attention of the audience and improve the chance that they will remember the information contained in the vi visualization so when we are we are doing our speech uh, the audience can understand and after they understand they can they will remember it because they will implement it in their mind so they will always remember about what are we what are we present just now so the audience can remember whether when they want to use the information that they have all right so that's all for me thank you Assalamualaikum, my name is Wan Abdul Rabin Tuwa'anullah and for my part, I will be uh, explaining about the outline, organizational pattern, common vocabulary use and transitional words. So for the, uh, so for the first uh, point, which is the outline, before we go to the introductions, we have to uh, write about the purpose a specific uh, purpose and then uh, and also the central idea so um, for the introduction uh, paragraph for we have to write for the first line we can write uh, about the intention gather where where the uh, points uh, the words that we use can uh, catch the attention of the audience of the listener and then uh, for the next line we can uh, review our topic and together with the uh, explanation which uh, establish the credibility of the topic and then so we have to uh, state the relevancy uh, statements we have to state the relevancy of the topics and then a preview of the main points which we have three main points and then uh, the lastly is the transitions before we go to the uh, body part of the speech so so for the body uh, parts we have uh, three main points which is um, the internal preview right uh, and then we uh, we go to the three subtopic and the elaboration each point we have to add the sub points okay and also elaborations and to close the body uh, speech we uh, add internal summary and also transitions and for the last one is the conclusions um, for the conclusion we have to summarize the main point and also we add the memorable close which we need to tie this uh, back with the introductions all right and then next we have uh, organizational pattern the pattern here we have use of the patterns and uh, such as categorical uh, or topical comparison or contrast spatial chronological causal biographical problem cause solutions and psychological uh, but according to the uh, study uh, it shows that the most uh, used, uh, I mean, the most common use, which is the topical, spatial, and chronological. Okay, as for the um, topical, it is actually uh, the arrange, 
um, arrange your info according to different subtopics within a large topic. And as for the spatial, it is um, follows a pattern of the directions. And lastly, the chronological uh, pattern, it is uh, according to a progression of time, either forward or backwards. And this use best uh, works well for segment of time. Okay, so next, it is the common vocabulary that uh, been used in an uh, informational, informative speech. Sorry. So uh, this is a few of it, uh, which is concise, where it expressing in few few words. Okay. And next, ambiguous, uh, in understanding, in more than one way. Intuition, it is a uh, quick, ready insight, trivia, in, I'm sorry, uh, trivia, it is an uh, unimportant matters. Etymology, uh, tracing their developments and uh, relationships. This, uh, the, the speakers use. Uh, to trace uh, their development and uh, development and uh, relationships. It is actually a uh, history words. And lastly is the fireside chat. Uh, it is a short story used by the speaker to illustrate uh, the point. Okay, so it's the transitional words. Transitional words, uh, it is actually allows you to smoothly, smoothly move from one point to another. So that's uh, in the paragraph, we use transitional words in the last, uh, in the end of the paragraph. Uh, so that the um, speech end the presentation uh, lead up. Okay, um, this will make it easier for the audience to understand your arguments. That is the purpose for the transition words, or else the um, audience will, I mean, like they won't get what you get, they will be confused. So, for the introductions uh, topic. A few words that are for transitional we use uh, such as we will be looking at identify or investigating the effect of cause and and so on okay um, other than that is today I will be discussing and the points so you move in with the points okay uh, that one is for introduction next is for the main point for the first point, we usually start with a first. Let's begin with, and you can continue with the points, or you can use I will first cover. Okay, so as for the uh, next uh, paragraph, let's say you have a similar points that you want to uh, point out, you can use likewise or you can use uh, in the same way and lastly you can use also um, the obvious one is a similarly okay and let's see uh, okay so let's say in the informative uh, speech you have a disagreement point so you can use despite this now let's consider and also the last one we can we can't ignore and the point the point that you disagree and you agree with okay for the other points such as significant issues you can use major issues here and so on and so on okay so and then the cross of uh, the matter okay uh, and then lastly for uh, you want to refer like you uh, talk about the already talk in the third uh, paragraph third speech and then you want to link with the 
previous um, I mean like the point that you are talk, uh, explanation that you are talking about you want to uh, refer to the previous point so you can say uh, let's vis revisit or uh, let's return to or we can use uh, we briefly spoke about X earlier let's look at it in a more depth now so you can uh, continue with your um, elaboration so